welcome everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a mixed media project using a recycled Starbucks bottle for home decor piece. I've cleaned and dried the inside of my bottle and I've peeled all the labels off, but there's still a little bit of sticky residue from the label and I want to remove that. Using a paper towel, I'm spraying on some of the Simon Says Stamp cleaner and this stuff will clean off everything. So I'm just going to rub onto the bottle until I can see that it's clearing away. This cleaner is designed to clean your stamps, but I've used it for several things that are sticky like bubble gum and also pine tar from the Christmas tree. The cleaner will leave a little bit of residue, so you'll want to clean off the outside and you can either use soap and water or a window cleaner. I am going to be frosting this glass with some Tim Holtz Frosted Crystal embossing powder and what I want to do is tape off an area to give myself a line so only a portion of it is frosted and the rest is left clear. To prep the glass for the Frosted Crystals I'm using the Tim Holtz Collage Medium and I'm generously applying this to the outside of the bottle. I'm using a little bit larger brush so that I can get all the glue on at once and do this in one application. And a tip, if you're doing a glass like this, you want to go from the tape and move yourself down rather than pushing the glue up into the tape. While the glue is still wet, you're going to sprinkle on your frosted crystals embossing powder. I'm applying this really heavy and I'm tapping off the excess occasionally as I go. And I'm using a large piece of paper to catch the excess that falls. Then you can spin it around and make sure that you have the complete area covered and set it aside to dry. I'll be stamping some butterflies to go in my flower arrangement. And for my papers, I've chosen the Tim Holtz pocket cards. They're heavy weight, double sided, and have a great variety of colors and patterns. The stamps that I'm using are from Concord and Ninth, and they're called Bold Butterflies. There are two pieces that you can put together, but I'm going to only be using one in my arrangement. So you can use either the interior or exterior image for your butterflies, and they do have a matching die set that fits perfectly. To help align my stamp, I have die cut the butterfly first and then placed my stamp on the inside, and then I can replace my butterfly for stamping. I always like to use a anti-static pouch or tool before I do my stamping. This helps so the powder won't stick onto unwanted areas. I'll be inking up my butterfly with the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. And then I can shut the door of my Misty and give that a good press. I am using the Tim Holtz Embossing Glaze in Walnut Stain. I'll just generously pour this over the top and holding the antennae with my tweezers, I can tap off the excess. Once I have that wall covered, I can heat it up with my heat tool until all the powder becomes transparent and shiny. I love how this powder gives me a lot of color, but yet you can see the pattern of the paper underneath. I have die cut and stamped several butterflies, and next I want to add the body. And there's a coordinating die made just for that. So I am going to be using the Tim Holtz Metallic Classic paper in the champagne gold color, and I'll cut several of those out. For three of the butterflies in my arrangement, I will be doing front and back, and so I will have six pieces in total. Next, I want to put these all together, and to glue the butterfly bodies in place, I'm just using the Simons' Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and just adding some to the back. Once I have that covered, I can add this right into the center of the butterfly and match up the antenna at the top. I picked up some wire at the hardware store and I'm just straightening this out. It comes in a spool. You don't have to use wire for your arrangement. You could glue your butterflies just directly onto your silk flowers. But for this, I want mine to be able to move around freely from the flowers. So I've added a little bit of hot glue right onto the butterfly and now I can press the wire in. And then I can add a little bit more hot glue to the top and put the top butterfly in to sandwich that wire in between. So I want to make sure that I line these up really well before that glue cools. And when I'm done, I have a really nice double-sided butterfly. And in between the wings, you can see the back side of the papers with a little bit different color. 
The glue is now dry on my bottle and I'm going to get ready to heat this up. But first I want to tap off any excess frosted crystal embossing powder and now I can remove the tape. I'm not sure how hot my bottle will get as I try to melt this powder, so I'm using the Simon Says Damp Pet Tool to hold the top to protect my hand. I'll be swirling my heat gun around. I don't want to stay in one area in particular. But you can see the embossing powder turn to a crystal shine when it's melted. I'd like to offer a word of caution. I am not sure how heat stable this glass is, so I'm making sure that I just go in areas and then I'll turn the bottle around and move myself around. I gave the glass a break about three times in the melting process just to make sure it wasn't overheating. When I was done, I had this really cool frosted glass and all the powder is heated to a nice hard surface. I've added some of my greens and flowers to my jar, and I've snipped the ends of my wired butterflies so that they sit at uneven heights. The next thing I want to do is to add some ribbon. I'm using mummy cloth. You could use any type of ribbon that you'd like. And I'm going to wrap this around the top lip of the bottle using my hot glue gun. And once I have one layer of my ribbon wrapped around, I'm adding a vertical piece, and this will act as my bow portion. Then I can continue wrapping that first piece around to cover that lip. Once I have that wrapped, I can tie a bow, fluff it up, and cut off the excess. I have a couple little butterflies that I'm going to glue onto the leaves and greens in my arrangement, so I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue and I can place them right under the big ones to finish off my arrangement. I really like how this turned out. It's very organic and natural looking with lots of green, white flowers, and butterflies. And then the frosted bottle at the bottom really conceals that it was once a favorite cold beverage. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. I certainly did. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below, along with the link to the blog post. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.